Welcome to another fantastic event here at NHBL with Collision of Continents. My name is Sins, alongside my good Aussie friend, the Hall of Famer Clayface, and we are here G'day. to uh, call a pretty terrific and just quite frankly chaotic match where four North American boxers fight against four European boxers. Last year, North Americans swept European not only in matches but in rounds. Uh, it was a total sweep, 12 nothing. We never see ever would have expected something like that but this year we got some new faces and it's going to be a hell of an event Clayface. oh this is this is definitely going to be one of those great events this is one of the only events where in the nhbl where actually teamwork actually comes into play but it, it, which with, with each team having their own set of communications but uh, what i'm most interested in seeing is is how these two how the how the teams work together as i said communication is is going to be key but then again if you look at some of the teams there's a bit of a bit of a rivalry with some of the players you look you know you got the two you, you, you have the two european finals players uh from european finals finalists from last season competing on the same team retro and metro and then you have on the on the on the other team you have guys like like Ice and Razdazla, who are two of the, the, the fight night guys battling it out. It's going to be interesting. Teamwork's yeah, yeah. going to be key, though. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of interesting names, and let's just round up the names that are going to be into this tournament here. Uh, for Team North America, team captain is Ice, the two-time Sasha Heavyweight Champion. You couldn't pick anyone uh, better in that position. He's going to be captain Team North America, and uh, alongside with Fluffy Teddy Bear, the, the current North Amer uh, the current uh, uh, NHBL Fight Night Champion, who actually beat Raz Dazzler uh, last week in Fight Night, uh, which is ironic because one of his teammates is Raz Dazzler. So there's going to be some animosity there with him and Fluffy and then also Raz and Ice. That's going to be interesting. And then you also have the uh, Dos Caras, the leader of the Putus Power Movement. He is uh, back here and going to be representing North America with all of Pride and with the uh, Putus Movement uh, with Pride as well. And then over on Team European, we got the team captain Retro, the uh, veteran of the squad there. Uh, well, and speaking of veteran, uh, his teammate, which rhymes with Retro, got Metro. Let's try not to confuse that tonight. Uh, Metro, who's been participating since season one, a uh, very tremendous boxer in his own right. Also uh, teaming with Raid Baron, another uh, great uh, boxer that has uh, been coming around recently, especially on the European side. And then also a uh, fight night uh, uh, newbie, uh, almost, uh, with uh, Space Vegemite. Uh, so that's going to be interesting as well. So, yeah. Like you said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of cool storylines in this. A lot of things to uh, watch out for this. Like we said, Ice and Raz, they have just they hate each other. Uh, we got Retro and Metro who have a very good competitive rivalry. But let's just focus on before we get to the. I mean, that that's stuff that the audience knows very well. Let's actually get on to something to to the newer uh, boxers in this. Let's start with the North American side with Raz Daz. First season, he was the first uh, fight night champion. He had that title for, for over two months. He'll be in this uh, tournament with North America. How do you see him being in this tournament? Oh, well, the thing about him is that he actually qualified t to be in this match. I believe he qualified. Mm -hmm. Can you just can you just tell me the exact? Yeah, yeah, time he, qualified. he qualified. Yeah, he qualified in a four man tournament. He actually beat Big Boy Lethal and Rage Will to get in this, this spot. So uh, he definitely earned it. Yeah, so he qualified to be here, but I mean. It, it has been it has been well deserved since I've heard some, some great things about that. It turns out some of these fight night guys are actually actually ended up getting more respect than some of the other guys because because fight night is every week. These guys are competing every week, and they're here to compete. Raz Dazzler is a great example of that. He's a former former fight night champion. He's really representing the entire league of of, of fight night tonight. Yeah, and, and speaking of repping the league, of course, Fluffy Teddy Bear, the uh, current yeah. Fight Night Fight Night champion who defeated Raz, he only has that title for just a week now. So that'll be interesting. He'll actually be fighting Metro at our Lights Out event on October 4th. And then on the European uh, side, uh, uh, we have a new face of Space Vegemite. Uh, I don't think we've seen any of him yet over on Fight Night, though. He's been a pretty solid competitor and really raising the ranks up at Fight Night. Uh, so that's going to be a good one. But uh, I'll ask you this. And you probably don't know Best Vegemite very well, but you do know Retro and Metro with their uh, European experience. Do well, you, think, do you yeah. think that's going to play a part in their teamwork or lack of maybe? 
You know, well, the thing about those two, they have a very, very competitive rival. Obviously, Re Retro is the is the dual back-to-back -back reigning Natasha heavyweight champion. Metro was the runner-up for the second, the, the second Sasha, second N N Natasha heavyweight championship. A competitive rivalry, nonetheless. Uh, I feel as if these two are more, more, more. Um, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more respect than. Ten eight between these two. I feel Metro's been been around for so long that he knows that he just he has to be in a position to win, and, and he wants to win. I'll give you a few few stats about uh, about Metro though. He's he's the longest active heavy boxer in the NHBL. He's had the most NHBL finals appearances, and quite frankly, probably has the most ever NHBL matches, which is crazy to even think of, but. Eh, it's true. The guy's been been around since season two, and to be honest with you, since if 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 Europe has anything over North America tonight, it's that they have got a more experienced team. Yeah, they're they're actually most experienced boxer in North America would be Dos Caras, which you know unfortunately Dos Caras just haven't really uh, won uh, much of uh, the tournaments. But uh, yeah, that's the only veteran you got. Retro and Metro right there is just veteran. Yeah. So it will be interesting to see. But, uh, yeah, so Team North America, Team European, 6 out of 11 fight. It's going to be simply chaotic. All right, so they're going to start their uh, their warm-ups there. So fans at home, if you haven't seen Collision of Continents from last year, uh, let me just say that you're in for a treat. Uh, there's a multiple <laughs> different strategies. All four boxers from each team are going to be in the ring. It's like basically a slugfest. And uh, as we see there, Europeans actually get a, a good little uh, warm-up uh, victory in that. Of course, it is warm-up, so it doesn't, you know, obviously pertain to the uh, round. However, it gives you a good indication of what you're going to see tonight. And it looks like uh, what, what popped out to me is Space Vegemite. He seems to be um, uh, doing the uh, 4v4 strategy well, going behind his opponents like that. Yeah, look, uh, to be honest with you, I think the Fight Night guys have a slight advantage as well since, because they're actually used to competing in team tournaments. Do you guys have team tournaments down there? Uh, some, Yeah, sometimes when Rin Ridge uh, did European Fight Nights, uh, he sometimes did tag tournaments. And I'm pretty sure Space Vegemite did participate in one or two, uh, uh, one or two of those. Uh, so... But we're we're gonna uh, leave uh, Spogo have the mic so he can communicate with the box. Oh, do I talk over you when I'm talking in Steam? I mean, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all good. It's all good. Good talk. Oh God damn! No, I'm just trying to get these you know fools into position so they're ready for the good stuff. Blue team, get you on, get get on the rope. Right. It's like herding cattle. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. Rock, oh, it's fast. Okay. Space, just take a step back and then you're fine. Rock, paper, scissors. That's okay. not a step back, that's, that's a step good. front. <laughs> there we go. He All did right. step backwards. A little bit. There you go. Alright, so second warm up round is going to happen. And uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be kind of hard, I'm going to admit, uh, doing this for a few years, and it's going to be hard to. Uh, to commentate. Commentate, sure. yeah, yeah. You, you and Fedora had the exact same problem. You didn't know what to <laughs> say first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it will be difficult, especially in something like this. Uh, European side gets a second win in the warm up. So, what's uh, interesting you see here, uh, Clayface? What's uh, interesting that's popping out? There? Well, the thing, well, well, the advantage in this sense is that you would, you would have to, you would simply have to, um, you would simply have to double up. As soon as one person gets eliminated, that other person, is, that team is already in serious jeopardy to uh, to, to be at loss. Yeah, me. So when it when it comes to when it comes to uh, oh guys, when it when it comes to when it comes to this particular event, as I said, since as soon as one player on that team goes down, they're already in a disadvantage. Hang on, we've got chaos in the ring here, Sins. This is yeah. look, look at this. Yeah, There's already awesome. animosity. Two refs aren't enough for this. Two refs yeah, aren't nah, enough. Two, isn't it's not enough for this. The chaos already stopped, so that's your last warning. You just sell down. It's all right. Some the bell, you may begin. Oh, whatever. Well, warm up round. This is this is a, this is the third, third and last warm up. This is the third. This is the yeah, third warm up round here. Yeah. Some bad habits, Cleface. Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah so there's, 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 chaos is is going. I, I let me just say this though, I can't wait to actually get started into the regular match because these boxers really just don't like each other. And I think that's where it stems off of team, this rivalry. Team player. Europe just swept Team North America in the warm ups. Let's see how, see how it actually goes in the actual fight. All right, so here we go with a chaotic four on four, and in a uh, ref multiple uh, shotgun there, shots already. Yeah, for sure there, and uh, yeah, it's not looking very good for Team North America though. And uh, but, yeah, but as know. soon as I but say hang that on. though, as soon there as is I a dispute. That, yeah, we have a dispute though. So penalty warning on the uh, red team for having one of the boxers taunting during the match. It was an intent at killing someone with a one shot, and you know that's bad. Yeah. So penalty for red team since they won this round, the round is void and it's still zero zero. All right, so now we get started to hopefully something a little bit more traditional instead of pointing and shooting your finger and killing someone. And now they're going to corner up New York, Team Europe, but now Europe is going to get out of the corner there. Oh, and Razgazer and Retro are out now. And now Retro is trying to go a... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> and Retro freaking did it. Like Retro, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Retro just destroyed three North American boxers on his freaking own clay face. You know what's funny now, Sins? That's the first round Europe has ever won in the collision of, of continents, ever. All right, so EU is up one nothing in this, their first victory here, collision of continents. And it was a big one, Retro beating three people at one, uh, with one life there. It is, uh, that was a very good round there. Now they're going to start fisting each other. Oh, oh, I just realized what I said. And then Fluffy Tear Bears eliminated, so is Metro. Face Vegemite gets out oh, by Dos Caras, and then Dos Caras takes out Raid Baron with Ice getting out Retro. And North America <laughs> ties it up one to one here. So a little bit more in North American's favor, but like I said, it is very chaotic. chaotic so I apologize with me, uh, maybe not giving the most insightful uh, stuff there, but uh, Raid Baron though, uh, he had a good start there at the beginning, but lost to those cars who had a very good final. Uh, as, as I said, once one of them go goes down, there's already a disadvantage, two other, and then you have somebody else from the other team j jumping and killing you from behind. That's exactly what happened there. Team North America took the advantage and they kept the advantage. All right, so now they're going to get out of their corners there, and they're going to, and they, oh, they got the first punch there. And Space Vegemite's the first one to get eliminated by Raz Dazzler with help of this car. So Metro, Retro, and Raid Baron all get eliminated there, <laughs> each by one boxer there. And uh, they didn't lose a single person in that match they played. Clean sweep them. Four z that was a clean sweep. All players from North America are still alive, but Europe is looking okay, though. Europe just has to keep. Europe has to keep keep themselves calm, and yeah, they have a ping disadvantage. But still, Europe are playing well. Keep using team strats. Work it out a little bit. All right, so uh, they're both going to kind of get in the middle of the ring there, kind of uh, backing away from each other. But now the first few punches are going to hit there, and it looks like they're going to try to corner up. Uh, one of their uh, boxer couldn't see who though. And now we're just down to uh, three oh, North American boxers with Ice getting a final hit with Raid Baron. And now North America's up three to one. This is kind of what we, we, we saw last year at the Collision of Continents with North America teaming up on the one final guy. And uh, it didn't go out well. They didn't pull up a, 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 a retro number two there. Oh man. It, these guys just absolutely ganged up on that last European box. Boxer, but what happened was they they all went into the one corner, bunched up in a circle, and they just threw punches. You got to watch behind. They're, you're you're going to get hit from behind regardless in this match, and that's exactly what happened. They got bunched in the corner. Europe took m multiple shots from behind, and they all got they're killed. Yeah. All right, so now here we go there, and yeah, they're all using stocks. It doesn't help commentators. And uh, those cars is going to get uh, trying to get killed there by Metro. And now Red Team is going to, or uh, North America is going to try to take out Retro. Is Retro going to pull oh. up another upset? He doesn't. Ice <laughs> takes out Retro there. It's now 4-1 North America. Retro was about was about to do what he did in the what first round. What did the first round? Yeah. Yeah, it right, didn't go out well. All right, so 4-1 North Americans up against Team. Uh, look like North Americans kind of getting under skin with the Dose Cars comments there. 
And our Metro is first eliminated. And now North American is going to Who run up the board foul? there. Who just foul? And they're going to rub it in a bit. Where the Pudis foul from all of them is 5-1 to yeah. one North America. That was a pretty interesting matchup between uh and it looked like uh, North America they looked like to be on the fence there during the beginning of the match, but at the end of the towards the end of it, they looked to uh North America looked to uh get the stranglehold in the match. Alright, so North America is up his match point. One more win for North America, and they will be moving on uh to London, uh one up in the series. And now uh Raz Dazzle gets eliminated by their Metro, but Metro gets eliminated by the Fight Nights champion, Fluffy Teddy Bear. And now the Europeans are not are not gonna go away so quickly. Raid Baron lastly eliminating Big Cars. It is now five to two. North America needs to try to pull uh, something together to at least finish this out, but European is looking pretty uh, good in that one. Hey, European look good. That was the first time they had actually had multiple boxes left to, f to finish off that round. That was impressive. Wow. All right, so still match point for North America. However, European is European is trying to uh, get back into this. And it looks like Retro is going to get cornered there. But now it's going to be opening up to the backsides of North America. But it looks like it's not happening here. And it looks oh, like that's it's Ice, Guys, wow. Ice and Raz Dazzler. Ice and Raz Dazzler, the rivals, finishing this out. North America mm -hmm. beats European 6-2 to two tonight here in the uh, first match between the two day series. USA. Yeah, so USA. so here's the thing. USA. USA. Here's the USA. thing. USA. Uh, oh. And Canada. <laughs> okay. yeah. USA. Mainly USA. USA. Sold out. So yeah, so uh, so just to give the, the heads up for our live stream view, this was only day one or two. T tomorrow, tomorrow night at the exact same time will be 4v4 again, but this time it will be hosted in the European side of things, in London, UK. So the Europeans are going to have the advantage. Go, but going into it, the, the Americans have the, the advantage. 6-2 round wins up. The, the winner is the, the, the overall combined score, whoever wins. So it's going to be very interesting tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah okay. okay, Retro. I'm here with Retro, the, the team, team captain, captain for you. you. Walking, walking around, around the mix, sorry about, about that. Retro, how do you think the Europeans perform tonight? tonight? Okay. okay. <laughs> he, he just, just says... says <sighs> Alright, uh, no, but, no, for, but real for real though, though what, how, how do you think, think, how, how how do you think, think EU went? went? You, guys you guys got two, got two rounds, rounds, it's better, it's better than, than last year's result. result. And You're going, going into, into London, London, how do you feel about that? Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, uh, fair, fair enough, enough. Well, well, I'll, tell I'll tell you what, what tomorrow night, night you, guys you guys have a great, great chance. chance, I reckon, I reckon it's, 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 it's not over yet, yet. Uh, how, how, how do you, do you think, think the whole, whole team, team performed? Just, Just like, like a, a <laughs> was, 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 was the, the tactics, tactics there, there, was, was everyone, everyone performing well, did everyone try to do their best, how was the strategy, what was the strategy like? We tried our best. Coming team, team captain, North America. America. Ice, 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 how do you think team North, North America, America performed perform tonight? tonight? You guys, guys dropped two rounds. A little bit different from last year. Who does, pal? Man, can anyone give me a serious question tonight? Come on, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, I swear though, listen. You guys got you guys got the EU the EU match tomorrow night. How do you think you guys are going to perform with 150 ping? Eglovania. This is for warm-up. Thank you. Alright, so they're gonna be doing their warm-ups here. And like you said, and like you asked, Bull King Cole, why are they using their fists? Well, we saw last night they were using their fists as well. Uh, because, oh wow, geez, uh, European <laughs> giving it all to North America here. Uh, they're losing their fists because of the uh, killing gloves of boxing. They uh, Every time you kill someone, you get a crit. Of course, you really don't like crits here in boxing, so the only way to get around that is using stock fists. That's why we, we chose to do that. Hmm. So, uh, sounds fair enough. Also, looks like the Americans just got blitzkrieged. <laughs> That's for sure. And... Uh, like, it, 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 and it's this kind of strategy. Last night we saw the uh, North Americans do the Pudis Powell movement to infuriate the team Europeans. 
and we're seeing something with Monoculus. Maybe something similar. All right, so now they're going to get to the second warm-up. Yeah, Team Europe looking pretty good. Now, we know that the ping difference is going to be changed. Uh, last night, we saw London, uh, we saw Team Euro uh, Europe have the ping disadvantage. And as you see there, uh, North American wins that warm-up round. Uh, so with ping difference, do you think... I mean, obviously, it does flow in uh, Europeans' uh, favor. All right, so they're going to start their final warm-up round here. Chaos is about to ensue, as you guys are already seeing... Uh, last night was very uh, was very fun to watch. It's going to be very hard for us to commentate because there is eight people in the ring. As we see here, Raz Dazzler takes out Dizzy to end the warm-up rounds. All right, so here we go with the first round here of the 4v4. Ice is going to be taken out by Shik in there. Raid Baron now out by Dos Karas. And now Team Europe is going to have a total onslaught here as a low end now. Dos Karas! Those cars oh. might win it for Team North America! Come on. North America going oh. Dizzy, but Dizzy! Dizzy was able to get away from those cars, and he ran them over like a Mack truck in that one, cool. <laughs> Mack truck? More like a Panzer! What'd you see in that one? I mean, you... It looked like those cars is about to win it all for his team. Oh, yeah. It was definitely looking like the side of America was going to win this. But <laughs> it's too early to say otherwise. It is anyone's game. All right, so here we go again. And Team Europe is going to surround the Team North America there. And now they're all going to pick a body. And Raid Baron gets eliminated by Dos Caras. And Dos Caras oh, goes on a Lord Almighty. And oh. Chicken. Chicken ends those cars and those cars it seems to be the last man standing for team north america once again it is two nothing for team europe well it seems like they are learning a lesson from last night and because of the uh, because they don't have the same exact people in europe this actually might be a good favor for them all right and there is the bell like i said two to nothing european and they're gonna go fight it out here. Fluffy Teddy Bear gets eliminated by Metro, and Metro's going on a small killing spree there. And European oh. stands tall, four to nothing, a sweep there. And we're seeing a very new revamped European team. Ooh, I gotta say, the Americans didn't even stand a single chance with that one. All right, so. And Ice is going to go right after their Dose, or Shikin's going to go right after Dose Karis, knowing that Dose Karis is usually the last man alive, and Ray Baron gets eliminated there. And now it looks like North American might have a chance in here, and they get their first victory here to <laughs> and a very loud Pudis Pal. And it looks like they're back in business here. It's now 3-1. to one. Oh, looks like, it looks like America might finally catch their, uh, catch their second win. But as we know about the old-fashioned American spirit, if no matter how many times they get knuckled down, they always come back for more. Shout out to Fluffy Teddy Bear typing out yes in Morse code. That was brilliant. All right, so, uh, by the way, Fluffy Teddy Bear, the Fight Night Champion also as well, showing a good fight here, but he's getting surrounded by a bunch of North Americans, but takes out Metro, and now it is back to the European onslaught. And what is this, soccer? But European beats... Uh, North American here, and it's now four to one here. They need two more victories to clinch this series. Do you think they're able to do it, Cole? Ooh, if it, if the Americans are keep playing like this, it might we might as well just rejoin Europe. All right, so just almost all these boxes in the ring, by the way, will be participating in season nine. Uh, and now Shaken and Taste out ice, and now Shaken gets eliminated by Dos Caras. Those cars looking really good here tonight. Oh, and he, takes Lord 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 Lord. he just has Mr. Dizzy left. Will those cars be able to get back into this? He took two people out. And now Mr. Dizzy's just gonna wait it out. Who's gonna throw that last punch? Those cars, he's he's got that adrenaline. He's all around the ring there. Who is Come gonna on. get that final hit? And oh! Dizzy gets him out! Dizzy gets him out! And it's five to one, it is match point. Those cars is the only reason why you're why North American is still in this match, it seems, Cole. Oh, mama! That was a close one, ladies and gentlemen! I was, I, I was literally at the clutch of my seat! 
All right, so Team Europe, it is match point. It is five to one. They can win this whole series. And now those cards of Fluffy Teddy Bear goes out. And now North America's at a disadvantage. Oh! I cannot stand the chance. They did it. Team Europe wins tonight. It is six to one. Team Europe wins the collision of continents, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Dispute. And there is a dispute. Ice is putting out a dispute. And Ice is going to dispute for hit reg. We have decided that we have voided the dispute. We have saw, seen nothing out of the ordinary in the last round. Uh, Ice left Shoot. the server, by the way. Ice left the server and he is not here. So I will just talk to you, Metro. Uh, last night, you guys you guys didn't win. You lost 62. Tonight, you guys prevailed in a very uh, climatic fashion, Metro. And with your eye gang around me, I feel like I'm going to get mugged here. But I must ask you, Metro, with Retro being out and you being put as a team captain, what did you do differently than what you guys did last night? Well, first, a existential crisis. Then uh, Dizzy coming to the server, he made that one good decision to say, uh, yeah, we should just avoid each other and just punch these guys. And that worked, so yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, what, what can you say? I mean, you got Dizzy and you got Chicken, two great boxers. And um, not to say anything about the, the boxers you had last night, but because of their additions, do you, th how, I mean, how much did they help? I mean, I know you guys won. But how much did that really boost you guys' confidence going into this? Now you got two veteran boxers. Well, I mean, just winning is, uh, is already uh, enough to boost your confidence. So just winning round and round was a kick, kick, kick start for anything. All right. And then, of course, I have to say this because you guys are all champions and, uh, you know, the season starts next month. Uh, you know, you guys, are you guys excited? I mean, are you guys ready? This is your warm up. This is the final event for an irregular NHPL. <laughs> he explodes with excitement. They all explode with excitement. I'm pretty sure that's a resounding yes. I'm pretty sure that's a resounding yes.